Hi everybody, it's Shauna and I'm here to tell you about another NC Live resource that you have free access to. So today's resource is Transparent Language Online and this is a language learning resource. You can start at any level that you're on. So if you're a beginner, this is great. If you've already had some experience with learning a foreign language, this one you can pick up right where you left off. Or if you're just wanting to brush up on a few things and learn a few specific vocabulary words to help you, then this is the place to go to. And it's all free through NC Live. So I'm gonna show you how to get there. The best place to go to begin is to our webpage, which is madisoncountypubliclibrary.net. And if you scroll below the sliding, the slideshow with the pictures, then you're going to come to these quick links for everyone. NC Live is where so many of our digital resources live and they are provided to us free by the State Library of North Carolina. The only thing that is required to access NC Live is that you be in the library or if you're at home, just use your library card to gain access. So I'm going to click on NC Live. It's going to bring me to the NC Live landing page. And I'm just going to type in transparent language and ask it to search. And here is what I'm looking for. So when you are at home, you may be asked at this point or right before, you may be asked for some information. You will need to input your library, Madison County Public Library. And then you may be asked to put in your library card number or it might say account number. That's your library card number. So NC Live resources are free as long as you have a library card, or as I said, you're accessing them from the library. So Transparent Language Online is good for learning a wide variety of languages. It also allows you to indicate what your native language is when you're learning it. So when you come to this spot, you'll see, hey, it's provided by NC Live. You'll see login, sign up, and about. You don't have to sign up for an account with transparent language. I would recommend it if you are going to uh, keep up with your progress. The only way that the computer will keep up with your progress and what you've done is to actually have an account. So um, think about that. That is also the way that um, you can tell it actually to send you email notifications. So if you have a specific goal and maybe you've given yourself a deadline, then you might want to tell the notifications to remind you every so often to get back online and get to practicing. Yep, you can do that with transparent languages. You can continue as a guest if you are just doing a few things, you just wanna look around or you think that you probably won't use it for tracking your progress. You're just gonna use it to you know, update a little bit of your back vocabulary, but that's up to you. I am going to actually sign in with my account information. And this is where um, it will default. So this is where I have been learning. It'll go to the last um, information, my learning path. It shows any goals that I have set. It also lets me see how much time I've actually spent on this language. What I like about this is that it keeps up with the vocabulary that I've learned in every lesson. And then I can actually go back here and do exercises to refresh myself on that vocabulary so that I'm constantly using it. I know sometimes if you don't use it, you'll lose it. So this is a good way to keep it fresh. Now, if you're new to transparent languages and you haven't set up an account and you're not sure where you wanna start, then the first thing that you will see is actually um, a list of languages. I'm trying to let me move my toolbar out of the way and see if I can 
go back to more languages. So these are the languages that they have for you to choose from. And you will see where there are several dialects. So if I clicked on Dakota, I can choose which dialect I need to go with. Um, when I clicked on the Spanish, it gives you the Latin American Spanish version or Castilian. And so that that lets you that lets you decide which one. So Castilian Spanish is more of the textbook type Spanish. Um, you know, there are lots of different idioms and there are different um, ways that certain cultures and certain dialects say things and they mean different things. So you can choose the dialect that you want to practice in. So let me see if it will take me back. OK. So when you get into your learning path, this um, the first lesson that you have, it will show you exactly what you need to do. It gives you kind of like a guided tutorial about what each thing on the screen means and how to make, how to navigate that screen and that exercise. There's lots of different exercises. There are some where you have to um, match. So they might have the English term on one side and the Spanish term on the other side and you match. They have examples where the vocabulary word is spoken. You have a few choices. It tells you which vocabulary word it is and then it gives you a few choices of the spoken version and you click on the correct one. They do check your pronunciation, so you can, um, when you get to the part where you're check, you're actually doing the speaking, you can tell it to skip if you don't have a microphone, but otherwise you'll use your microphone, your built-in microphone or a USB microphone, and the um, computer will actually let you practice saying it and check your pronunciation as well. So lots of different ways to learn the material. And that um, appeals to a bunch of different learning styles. So you'll see that I have done this lesson. So it's ready for me to start the next one. Now, one thing that I really like about uh, transparent language is there is a tab of resources available. So I can click on this. It's gonna give me some blogs and a word of the day, that kind of thing, but there are also proficiency tests that I can jump straight to. This is mobile, so the mobile format is very um, user-friendly for tablets and um, mobile phones. There are other video tutorials. If you're not so much on to the, um, if you don't want to just do the reading and matching, that kind of thing, there are video tutorials. and one of my favorite parts. There are online PDFs uh, that you can download. So if you are much more into the paper and pencil, you can actually download and print these out if you really want to. You've got some workbooks here that you can use, which that's a great resource for homeschoolers. The My Transcript tab keeps up with what you've learned. So as you are learning um, everything, it will generate a report and show you all the things that you've succeeded at. And um, you can keep that for your records. And then the browse tab allows you to get a little bit more information about some of the specific. Kids Speak is a kids kid-friendly <laughs> As you can see. So it's a kid friendly version of how to learn. It's got a lot of games, a lot of interactions. Um, not all the languages have kids speak available, but you'll see that when you go to the um, more languages tab. So you can see where kids speak is available and, and kids can play the language learning games. So I am really impressed with transparent language. I was a fan of Mango language when we had that, but I really like the fact that there are so many resources 
and lots of um, potential here to use with homeschoolers to track my progress, to even do some of my own um, workbook writing, practice the writing skills too. So I highly re recommend um, going to NC Live and checking out Transparent Language. And if you have any questions, give us a call here at the library. We'll be happy to help. Thanks. Now go learn some languages.